Hey everybody, this is Tina. Welcome to my video today, you guys. I got this new stamp set and new die set and we're going to use it today. So I'm going to dive in. I'm going to make a card with you. I'm going to take all of these off the sticky part. This is a photopolymer stamp set. So I'll be back in one second to show you the project we're going to make today. Alright everybody, I am back. I have a piece of Stampin' Up! grid paper right here. This is actually a product that you can buy. It comes in a big pack. And I'm going to be doing, you can see some glitter here, and I'm going to be using some glue, and it's going to get kind of messy, so I just want something to protect my surface. I'm going to start with a piece of Delightful Dijon cardstock, which this is one of my favorite yellows that we have. It's nice, and it's a muted yellow right here. So then what I've done is I've taken a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and I've cut that to four by five and a quarter. So you can see it's gonna give me a nice border. Then I've taken an embossing folder. You can see this one is called Falling Snow, I believe. If it's still available, I will link it in my supply list on my website. I'm not positive it's still uh, available, but I just wanted something that had a variation of embossed little dots. So you could use anything. So this is the piece that we're gonna be working with first, and we're gonna do this really fun technique. You can see I just have a cup here. Um, I'm just gonna be actually using the very back of it. And then I'm gonna take some of my, this is our fine tip glue pen, and the glue in this container, it's a little bit more runny than our normal glue. And you can see I just put a tiny bit. I don't want a lot, I'm not gonna need a lot. And then you're gonna need a paintbrush, and you're going to want to make sure that you clean this paintbrush right away. If you don't, it's going to ruin your paintbrush. So I actually just have a old paintbrush that I'm not concerned with because I have to deal with kids right after I do this video, which means I'll probably forget about this. So I'm just picking up this glue that is on this uh, glass thing right here. I'm gonna set this, you're really far zoomed out because I want you to see this. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my finger and I'm just tapping, oops, I even like, I splatted it right down on there, but that's okay. I'm really not worried about it. I just want some really good splats on there, okay? And I, concentrated mine a little bit more than I would like right here. So I'm gonna come up here. It's a little tiny bit hard to tell because the glue is clear, right? And when you're putting it on there, you can't see it. But now I have some glitter, some gold glitter. And I'm going to sprinkle this gold glitter on this card all over. It's going to stick pretty much everywhere because we have some embossing on there. So what we can do is take another paintbrush and anywhere we don't want those small pieces to be. I'll show you up close, but I'm just running this over this these areas. It's embossed, so it's kind of sticking everywhere. So the other thing that we can do, if we want some other splats, we can actually just take our fine tip glue and we can put a couple spots here and there. Now these are going to be a lot larger, of course. You'll just do that process as much as you want. I want a couple down here. I really want it to be, I want it to look like it's kind of going up the side. Okay, so we are back, I'm back. And you can see that I just have those gold splats kind of everywhere. So it looks kind of messy and like there's really no rhyme or reason. It gets better, I promise. So the next thing that we're going to do is take some of our gold. This is our gold thread and it's really, really thin thread. It's really hard to see on camera. And I just took a big piece of that. Now we're going to take just our snail adhesive 
and I'm going to put it kind of over here in this area. And what we're going to do is we're going to make some more, we're going to make this look even more messy. I'm just twisting it and turning it and pressing it into that adhesive just to make it, and you don't have to worry, we're going to cover that adhesive up, but I just stretched really out. You're going to want to make pretty big loops because your image that we're going to stamp, the image we'll stamp, will go right here in the middle, and this thread needs to stick out from it. So when you get towards the end, you're just going to tuck the end right into that adhesive. Okay, so now we have this, and you can see it's just on there. All right, so now let's do some stamping. So I have the Dragonfly stamp set, and it comes with these great images and these great sentiments. And then I also have the Dragonfly, the dies that match it, and we're going to use this die right here. It's going to cut out the image we're going to stamp. And at the very end of this video, I'm going to show you three other cards made with this stamp set. So I like to, when I have a larger image like this, I just like to flip it upside down. And that way I can make sure that I'm getting everything inked. Now this, I'm going to show you a little tip here. What I was having a problem getting the middle of this to stamp. Like I wasn't able to put enough pressure on the stamp to really get the coverage. So your paper will stick to your image um, when you first lift it up. So then I just grabbed my, this goes to my uh, little die uh, brush that you get the die cuts out and I just got this foam piece and then what I did is I just put that on there and then that was it was able to give me a little bit of room to push that in. You can okay. see that I did not press hard enough up here. So whenever you're using a stamp set and you're getting used to it, this is about the third time I've used this, it takes a little bit of time, a couple times of using it to really understand how the stamp, what pressure needs to be where for the stamped image to work well. So let's just try this again. Anytime you're getting a new stamp set, I always suggest giving yourself a little bit of time to play around with it and really see how the image works. Sometimes the way we think, like the way I'll think something's going to work in my head when I get an image, a new stamp set, it, it ends up not being that way. So I'm just going to, again, I'm going to use that that piece of foam. You can use a, I've heard people using a mouse pad. Um, anything that gives you a little bit of cushion and we'll try that again and that's much better. So real life moment there. I've stamped that in black ink. So now what I'm going to do is just take this over to my Big Shot and I'm going to cut this image out right here and I'll be back and we'll put it on our card and get our card finished up. All right, so let's finish putting this card together. I cut out my dragonfly. And I'm going to put two dimensionals on the back of this. I'm not worried about putting any more than that on there. I'm going to have my dragonfly this way, which is why I wanted the gold splatters going this way. So I really wanted that dragonfly in the middle of those gold glitter splatters. And that worked out pretty good. And then the uh, thread around that also um, adds to that. So now we can add this to our card base and this time we're going to make sure that my card base is opening up correctly. Um, last week, um, I believe it was, I put on my card backwards. So I'm just going to add this flat down because I'm going to do some more, I'm going to raise some more of the items up. You want to be careful when you flip that over to put your adhesive. If your glitter is not dry, it will come off like it just did on my card. Okay, so we have that. So now we have this little strip of paper. It's about a one inch strip. And what we're going to do is stamp our sentiment. So any sentiment would work. You could use one from a different stamp set. I'm going to go ahead and use black again. And this says to a wonderful friend. It turned out pretty good. 
Now I'm just going to chop this on my trimmer, which is right here. Okay, so now we're going to do one more thing to this sentiment. We're going to flip this over and we're going to put dimensionals on it because I want it to be popped up. I'm going to do three of them. And I'm going to take these, the backing off, but we're not going to stick it down yet. I have one more thing that I want to do, but these have to be off because we're going to use that to help us. So I have this gold ink pad. This is one that Stampin' Up! carried uh, a while ago, a couple catalogs ago. And I've just kept mine because I love that gold. So I'm just using the dimensional to stick it to my finger. And then I'm running this gold ink pad right over the edges and inking it. Now you could do this with gold embossing powder. If for some reason you did not have the gold ink pad, if you have, oops, look at that. If you have gold embossing powder, you can do the same so thing. we did that. Now we gotta be careful. I just dropped that on there and it does get a little bit inky. These gold ink pads tend to not dry as quickly as other ink pads. So I'm just gonna use, I'm actually just using a spatula here and we're gonna stick this right on our card. You could let it dry. You could come back and let it dry, but I've got to get my kids in the bath. I'm sure you guys have heard them as they are right at my door. But I did that right in the middle, and then I'll just take, you can take anything, and just push your dimensionals down. And then you can see that that hides, is that, that is crooked as a politician, right? Okay, let's try to make this a little okay, bit. Okay, that's a little bit straighter. <laughs> so that is the card. Let me show you guys these other cards. This is the very first one that I made, and I put the sentiment up top. So you can see each time you do this technique where you're doing the splatters, you're going to get a totally different look every single time. So that's why I like putting the sentiment on here like this, because it gives me an option wherever I feel like it needs to be covered up. Like wherever I'm not happy with the card, I can place my dragonfly and then I can place that sentiment. And then because I didn't let it dry, I totally smudged it. But you can see that most of my splatters were down here. So that's where I focused the dragonfly on and it could go going up or it could go down either way. So those are the two that are in that design. And then I have a few others that I got in my swap uh, cards. I'll stick a card right up here. If you haven't seen that video, I show you guys 60 uh, different cards and they're, they were all swap cards. So this, uh, the, this person used kind of the same technique with the splatters and then they used Wink Estella here. So our Wink Estella pen is this right here and they just put it right over the cardstock and it gave it a little bit of shimmer. You can see that. So you could totally do that. You could do that on the stamped part of it too. I'm actually giving away Wink Estella pens this month. I have several still left to give out. So for every $50 you spend with me or when you spend $50 with me, you get three card kits plus a Wink Estella pen, which is really fun to use. I happen to use this Wink Estella pen on everything. So then we have this one with some designer paper and it's stamped on this color cardstock with that color ink so it creates a really fun tone on tone. And then we have this one with a little bit of ribbon. Oops, it was right. That, oh, it opens this way. I was a little bit confused for a minute. Has that ribbon, this is the dapper denim color. And then again, Wink Estella. So you can see some Wink Estella right there. So that is a lot of fun to use that Wink Estella pen. So thank you guys so much for hanging out and checking out my video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. I will be using this again later this week. Um, I think that I'm going to use this die in my project life, in a project life pocket. Um, I really have been itching to use this um, one in particular. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will be back later this week to hang out with you guys some more. Have a great day.